Hej, siemanko, z tej strony, ja witam was serdecznie w kolejnym odcinku z gameplayami i trailerami i lecimy z koksem, nie przedłużając, e, zaczynam od Grand Blue Fantasy Relink e, trailer z PlayStation Showcase 2023, więc zobaczmy. Nie wiem czemu albo muzykę mam z Zaldy cały czas. Nie za dużo trailerów z Zaldy. I znowu angielski dab. Jest głośno? Jest głośno, dobra. Let's hit it up! Yeah! <laughs> Joke time? With the power of love! Mm, Relink, thank you. Okay. PS5, PS4. Hell Divers 2. Uh. Cóż to jest? Super Earth. Super Earth. Our home. Our way of life. But freedom doesn't come free. What the hell? Active the best thing to show with the PS. Ooh. <laughs> Look familiar? Scenes like these are happening all over the galaxy right now. Could be next. That is, unless you make the most important decision of your life. Prove to yourself that you have the strength and the courage to be free. Be free. The Hell Divers. What the hell? Zdecydowanie klon Starship Troopers. Freedom for bugs! Freedom! Independence for bugs! <laughs> Become a legend. Become a hell diver. <laughs> Becoming a hell diver may result in decapitation or morbid occasion. Not all hell divers survive. PlayStation. PlayStation. Marathon. Just to me, za mucha tej lata świejna. Do 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 Tłukę w pierwszej możliwej mośli, ten film. Okej, okay, okej. Okay. Jest na jakieś PvP? 
Battle Royale. Jeszcze na księżycu, kurde, jakieś. Uu. NC Soft? Uuu. Official. MMORPG. Uuu. Zapowiedzi od NC Softu. Lineage, dawać mi dla Jędrza jakiegoś nowego. <śmiech> Okej. <Okay. śmiech> Mam i dla Jędrza. <śmiech> Nie, to są wszystkie, dobra, dobra, przepraszam bardzo. Zbytnie się podnieciłem. Pokazują wszystkie MMORPG od NCSoftu po prostu jak na razie. Dobra. No, a new world. Throne and Liberty. Zobaczmy, co to jest ten ten Tron and Liberty. Uh, Undown X Will Smith. A ten Tron and Liberty dopiero ten. Za rok wyjdzie. Free to play. Muszę badać. Mamy tu w ogóle na liście? Jest. Aha. Will Smith. Czekaj, nie, że kurde, zaraz wali go ten twarz. Nice, nice. I am the legend. Jeszcze mi się z tym teraz skojarzyło, ale spoko. Undown. Ciekawe. Vorax. This is mission control. Are you okay? There was an accident. We need to ascertain if we can still salvage this mission. Hey! Hey! Is... Is... Is someone there? Sieciówka jakieś kartingowe, a to jest taki survival. Tak, to teraz widzę. Jesus! Jakiś horrorek. Taki... Też może, może. Borax? Zobaczmy. Tutaj tego nie ma, ciekawe. Co my mamy next? In Indigala. Ok. Maraton znowu. Uh, behind the scenes. Scenes. Zobaczmy, zobaczmy. Borax jest na Steamie, widzę. Survival, crafting, horror. Eee. Jak jest crafting, to już In building this game, ah, we're eh. combining the rich history of Marathon with a PvP extraction shooter where players get to be part of the narrative. I think that's just going to be a magic formula. A Bungie? To jest gra od Bungie. A, faktycznie. Coś zapowiadali. You are a runner, and you're exploring the hostile world of Tau City 4, looking for mysterious artifacts, implants, and weapons for your runner that are just going to make your character stronger. You make the best things on the shoulders of giants. And in our case, those giants are Halo and Destiny. The team's been leveraging 30 years of experience and innovation and passion to create Marathon. Ile? 30 lat tworzyli tę grę? So in Marathon, you're a runner. A runner is a cybernetic mercenary. They're this combination of fashion and sci-fi and cyberpunk. They're just so cool. And Destiny. You're going to be able to both visually represent yourself in really interesting ways, but then also there's going to be gameplay modifications, which is going to be awesome. And it means that you and the other two people on your crew can pick your different play styles. I think the runners are going to be a really great way for our players to shape their gameplay. Tau Seti is a very vibrant and dangerous world. We wanted to make sure this world pushed back on you in the right amount. You're going to drop into persistent zones. You never know what you're going to find or who you're going to face. 
you're trying to get out alive and so is everyone else. Are you serious? <laughs> we're combining the best of that bungee touch and feel gameplay but we're adding that incredible tension and these emotional highs and lows. We want that kind of just surprising, dangerous mystery. Imagine going into this basement of one of the colony buildings and it's like flooded with water, murkiness. It's too quiet. Just the sloshing of your footsteps around the corner, you see some beam of green light. And you're like, oh no, what is that? <laughs> Marathon I'm talking about images of free to play now. Always one run away from greatness. Yeah, that's you might play to play. Like loot in this corner. You might find some. Cha cha, Magnum. But every choice you make matters. It's great to see some of those moments in the world that just kind of naturally happen as players collide. What runners are doing is gonna be that exciting narrative that unfolds over the course of a season. Who knows what's gonna happen? But imagine if. One crew happens to find an alien key. They an play alien the key, altar, yeah. And then they get memorialized for opening up the next zone. And they have to go and figure out how to then unlock that for everybody else. There's a lot of ways to feel like you can win this game. Obviously, getting out alive is the primary one. You can win by getting out with the most artifacts. Each piece of an artifact you find in the world combines into creating bigger, more valuable artifacts. Ooh. Ciekawe. Ciekawe koncepcja. Nie tylko, żeby zabić, ale artefakty. They started shooting me, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> like, I downed them, and then I let them go. And that's the point, like, I yeah. could play any way I want. She demonstrated her power, and then she let them go. <laughs> There's just so many different ways you can be famous or infamous. Did you help somebody who really needed help, or you became world's first because you unlocked the zone, or you are the best runner in the world because you've climbed the leaderboard all the way to the top rank, and everybody knows it. The art style of Marathon is graphic realism. Bold, colorful, stylized art. It's vibrant, it's beautiful, but also mysterious. It's familiar, but also strange. We're really trying to find the right mix of beauty and mystery. When I jump into the game, I'm just like running for my life. But at the same time, I'll be like, oh, this bush is so beautiful. Oh, look at that building, oh my. Because we're targeting this like very bold style, it's a balancing act to figure out where do we dial it to 11, where do we dial it back to 6, and which objects and which elements of the world do we really want to highlight. It's something fresh and sort of uncharted territory. With Marathon, Bungie is very clearly focusing on PvP, and so from the ground up, the integrity of the experience has been absolutely critical. And it was non-negotiable that Bungie was going to be investing in dedicated servers for Marathon, Disconnect Recovery, and Fog of War. Okay. Without those elements, none of this matters. So we actually have a dedicated team in charge of security and making sure the game like is, is as fair as possible. Marathon's going to be releasing on PS5, Xbox Series X, and S, and PC, and it's gonna have full cross save and cross play. Ooh. We are marching towards our alpha, which is really exciting. We wish we could show you all the cool stuff that we're working on right now, but we can't do it just yet. After this announcement, we are going to go dark for a while, for an extended period, while we focus on developing and playtesting the game. Oh, I got one. Oh. one, sound, one sound. <laughs> Next time you hear from us, we're gonna be much closer to release, and we will be ready to reveal gameplay. You are being thwarted all the time, and you've got to adapt. At the core, it's what it means to be human. I was just going to say you shoot people and take their stuff. <laughs> that was way better than I was going to do. Oh, Lords of the Ring. Oh, that must be.
Hello. Yes, yes, my precious. Yes. Knife very effective. And so Master. No. <laughs> A creature the Dark Lord himself has touched and tortured. What did the Dark Lord want from him? Don't tell them, precious! You are my monster now. And monsters don't make friends. There is no hope for him, I fear. The creature is lost. Cruel ox, cruel men. What has Smeagol ever done to them? Pięknie. Warhammer 40000, Rogue Trader. Czyli coś na co czekamy. Rogue Traders. Właśnie, kiedy wychodzi teraz? Explorers who benefit from a unique style of freedom. Normally in the Imperium. Grudniu. With means to decide the fate of entire regions of space. Little can stop them in their pursuit of domination and power. And they do not venture alone. Their crew contains some of the galaxy's most unique denizens. Yes, today. Unsanctioned psychers, strange xenos, servants of the Inquisition. And even space marines of the Adeptus Sestartes. Ulfa is a lone space wolf survivor whose pack was defeated by the murderous Drukari. All of them are ready to follow you on the battlefield, where their unique skills can be the deciding factor and defeat. But the rogue trader's true might lies in their personal void ship and the resource-rich worlds wow. under their control. This is what makes them such dominant figures. Even still, the enemies of humanity are numerous. And they will not relinquish an opportunity to strike. And worst of all, a ghastly peril lurks. An insidious corruption which works to undermine the strength of the Imperium's most staunch defenders. Chaos. Only with uncompromising zeal and steadfast faith can rogue traders withstand the lure of the ruinous powers. And those who succumb to the darkness risk a calamitous fate in exchange for their soul. Only Give me your soul, Margaret. No, co za gówniana mucha, nie? Wyleciała. Nie chcę wylecieć. Rogue Trader. Days of Doom. A to też pisze The apocalypse wasn't the end of the world, just the one we knew. New dangers have emerged and lurk around every corner. Only the extraordinary have survived this wasteland. We will do anything to find sanctuary. Oh. Turn based. Tactical RPG. Rogue lights. Rogue like. Isometryczny. Czekajcie, otworzę sobie okno tylko jeszcze. Może wyleci ta mucha. Mm. 
Days of Doom. Thank you. Warhammer Space Marines 2. 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 What motive do these creatures have to attack this facility? These are mere... Grudzień 2-3. Uff. Uff. Worthy adversary. You will pay, you rotten cowardice! Uff. Felaczki. Delta Wing, report. The spores collapsed the bridge. There's no way through. Get into assault position by the bridge. Let us show them some of Ultima's hospitality. Come forth and be slaughtered. <laughs> Pięknie. Rzeźnicku będzie. Vermintide 2? Uuu, jakiś free update? Kurde, ten Vermintide też jest kurde zarąbisty, kurde. Może gdzieś wrócimy do niego jeszcze, z ekipą, żeby popykać. Trzeba było zakupić jakieś dodatki, które powychodziły i będzie gites. I mean, Hedda can't do it alone, can she? Lorna says you're gonna help out, and I'm grateful. I'll send down some black powder, and you can collapse the tunnels. But we'll do it proper this time. What we started. Make <sighs> the deaths mean something. Thank you. I know you're suspicious of what I've chosen, but you really shouldn't be. <laughs> Dark Quest. Challenge me. Okay, Diablo 4. Ooh, official launch load live action trailer. Good evening. Whatever you can do. We beg you. Will you save us? No, po tej to rozdziałka. Nie ma więcej? Nie ma. Can your shadow be our light? Und 
Total War Warhammer 3. Uu. Dużo teraz tak, mamy trailer związany z Warhammerem. Ciekawe. Z jakich Hana Mucha. There is legend of a warrior unparalleled. Muszę ją cyknąć, póki tam jest. Czekajcie. A champion forged in the heart of fear. Who reached into the grave and found only hate. Z wiałami, będę. El Diabolo, tak jest. Soon, second season. No powiem, powiem wam tak, jeśli... Jeśli Diablo... Nie ogarnie się z drugim sezonem, to Diablo 4 jest martwe kompletnie, nie? Znaczy, już teraz można by powiedzieć, że jest martwe. Wielki nie wypał, ale no, jeśli drugi sezon nie odżyje Diablo 4, no to pogrze. Oni zakładali dziesięcioletne wsparcie KW. Du, 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 du. Siga. I znowu Warhammer 40 tysięcy Chaos Gate Demon Hunter. Nie wiem, co się dzieje z cztery. No nie jest dobrze, wiesz co? No, można to zobaczyć po tym... Ile widzów jest na Twitchu i ogląda streamy z Diablo 4, tak, tak to. Po tym można poznać, czy gra jest jeszcze popularna, czy ktoś w nią w ogóle gra i tak dalej, i tak dalej, więc... No nie, nie jest zbyt różowo, powiem tak. <śmiech> ja samemu mam może coś tam ponad 100 godzin tylko przegrane. Yy, teraz mamy Dark Tide'a, Warhammer, nice, nice. No i... I to w sumie to tyle, nie? Ja sezonu w ogóle pierwszego nie grałem, nie był jakiś dla mnie ciekawy, przynajmniej nie zapowiadali go jakoś mega fabularnie. Niby jakaś tam fabuła jest, niby, ale nic, nic nie wiem. Natomiast zainteresował mnie drugi sezon, jak zaczęli e, e, mówić, że tam jakaś fabułka jest i tak dalej, to mnie zaciekawiło. E, no, ale zobaczymy, nie? Jak to będzie jeszcze wyglądać, nie? Jeśli to będzie wyglądać tak samo jak pierwszy sezon, no to to jest rip, nie? Totalnie, nie? Pierwszy? Tak de facto Diablo już jest martwe, jedynie co to może, jak będą dlc i wydawać, za którym się trzeba będzie płacić. A to też tam pewnie tydzień, max dwa, w zależności kto tam szybko go ogrywa. I to tyle, to tyle, nie? highlights Content drop, the signal, where we release a new mission and two new weapons. Patch 4, Blessings of the Omnisaya, in which we improve the shrine and its modification systems. No, wydaje mi się, że Diablo 2 Resurrected ma więcej w chwili obecnej, niż Diablo 4. With 10 additional weapon marks and new conditions. Patch number 9, Guards and Penances, where we revamped the penances and added new cosmetic rewards. Your support over the past six months has been key in delivering these updates, and we will keep delivering more content at a steady rate. Now let's have a look at Content Drop, Rejects Unite, which will release during Skulls. Two new 
additions will be added to the game. The first one, Archive on Sikorax. We see your team dispatched to wipe out sensitive data from the archives. A session Riser 31 will be part of our first community event. Players will have to unite to go through three challenges, each granting rewards. The final reward will be Ascension Riser 31. An old friend will also be added to the game. Ooh. The Chaos Spawn. The Chaos Spawn. Alongside this additional content, we will have more quality of life improvements and bug fixes added into the game with patch number 10. A new shop dedicated to Ernoble Cosmetics will open on the Morningstar, featuring additional items to collect. Ooh. You can now see all Ernoble Cosmetics in your inventory, including those left to unlock. Thank you for playing Dark Tide. Until next time. Until the next time. Czterdzieści tysięcy, Shooters, Blood and Tef? What the hell? To jest coś nowego, tego nie widziałem wcześniej. <laughs> Bo może widziałem? Tylko za mało się oglądało tego? Kurde. I znowu Warhammer 4000 Speed Freaks. Jezus Maria, ile tych gierek od Warhammera, nie? Nasrali teraz tym grami od Warhammera, że szkoda gadać, nie? Przynajmniej muzyczka jest dobra, taka heavy metalowa. Dalej. Chyba tylko... no właśnie. Space Marine, the board game. Against the endless night, nothing will survive our wrath. For spoken intent, we trust. Ponoć pododawali do, do Forspokena FSR 3.0 oraz DLSS 3.5. <laughs> Czytałem ostatnio. Także beka, żeby była bardziej zoptymalizowana ta gra. By <laughs> więcej FPS-ów było. <laughs> 
I po to właśnie wydają te technologie, żeby ukrywać yy, kiszki optymalizacyjne, nie? I to, I to szkoda właśnie, że tylko do tego służy ta technologia tak de facto. Jak na razie. O kurde. Wielki smok. Ale on in the dark. THQ Nordic? Czy my mamy Alone in the dark? Pisane? Tak, mamy. Kiedy to wychodzi teraz? He's always listening. Yes, we are listening. And we shall kill you. Last night I dreamt that my uncle hung himself in the attic, that we were too late. Jody Kamer. It is still called Dorsetto. Definitely a weird place. Feels like I've been here before. I just can't think why. Let's not waste any time, detective. Yeah, you're right. Let's go get your uncle, Miss Hartwood. Oh, you're not even good. Nice. Ah, the Jim McTen, Stranger Things. It travels okay. into the dark alleyways and into the night. I mean, it's always trying to create a mystery, right? It's something that's more than just jump scares. A bit of fighting, demanding puzzles, and a lot of atmosphere. Bardzo dobrze. Nie tylko samymi jump scaresami horror jak żyje. Games, but it had like an updated slickness to it that I liked as well. You haven't seen a little girl by any chance, have you? I don't think so. Uh, you would have known if you did. We start our story much like the original. Jeremy Hartwood is haunted by the dark man, and he goes to a countryside hospital called Dresetto in hope to find some help. I need to get this letter to my niece. She would understand. What do you think? Jeremy sends a disturbing letter to Emily Hartwood, his niece, and it spooks her enough that she hires Detective Edward Carnby to find out what's going on. Who are you? Whoa, pardon me, excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. We knew early on that we had a character-driven story. I do so mind. Get out of here. Really good actors to uh, make those characters come to life. I knew of past iterations of the game. I mean, the video game world is something that I'm very interested in in general, the horror game genre specifically. David has a really strong presence as an actor, and he's able to make the funny moments really funny, but also the dramatic parts really intense. Why the hell do I wake up hearing that damn voice? I know what it sounds like, but it's not what you think. He's kind of a gruff detective, and he's like searching for something, and you know, he's uh, he's hard boiled, but he's got some humor to him and stuff like that. He's a bit of a um, trope or a type, and I like that, and I like the world and sort of where, how he's exploring this insanity um, amidst all this horror and stuff. I liked all those aspects. Uh, let me know if you find her. I'll be around. Emily Hartwood has a closer connection to the plot as she is Jeremy's niece. And therefore also suffers this strange affliction known as the Hartwood curse. I love the mystery of the game. Um, I love the picture of her. Like there was so much about it that I was curious of. There's a lot of fear within her and a lot of speculation and curiosity and um, I guess Dread, intrigue, like there's a, there's a lot about her that is um, kind of on edge. Ten years now, more even since he died. 
He died a hero. Jodie's a fantastic actress, and she brings a lot of nuance to Emily as a character. And it really makes us sympathize with her. Who's in here? Show yourself. Yes, there is the, the kind of scary element, but then she still has to go on a journey and discover different things, and there should still be room to breathe and have a funny moment or a sarcastic moment or a moment of discovery. Um, so it's just trying to really kind of keep all those other beats alive amongst the... Um, the kind of darkness of it all, I guess, is how I felt anyway. Hmm. So we're bringing back both Emily and Edward as the playable characters. And the, depending on who you play, you will get a different take on the same story. The people that you said it will react differently to you depending on who you play. Even the story will be slightly different. What are you doing sneaking around? So you should definitely make sure to play the game twice. What are you doing in my kitchen? Get out! Ooh. The way that we reimagined the game was basically looking at the original. And it feels like we've been cultivating a seed that was planted 30 years ago. And it has now grown into something even more dark, even more sinister. I remember that with the first Alone in the Dark I made in 1992, we were basically doing something that nobody had done before. It was the first time that we could explore a big mansion, fight monsters, <laughs> and solve difficult puzzles all in real time 3D. At the core is a haunted mansion. That's the most important part. It's Dorsetto, I would say, feeling that you're trapped inside. Uh, kind of small space. Yeah. I used to say back in the old days that it was another character. Yeah, for sure. With all the remakes going on today, you are never sure what you get at the end. I think that uh, Michael and the team at Pieces did a great job preserving the core feeling of the game. They even went further than everything I could expect 30 years ago. It's really an honor to sort of be a part of, of the franchise in that sense, because it is such a, again, I, it can't be overstated. It's so special. It was such a new experience. As a fan of the original, I wanted to bring as much as I could into our version. And uh, they might have a slightly different meaning and different uh, reasons to be there. But if you know the old games, you will find a ton of references. Do I know you from somewhere? I remember you, Mr. Conby. I feel the franchise is in good hands now, and I can't wait to play the full game. Ja też nie mogę się doczekać. <laughs> to give you a taste of what the full game will be, we also created a prologue, and it features a character from the game called Grace Saunders, who is a little girl, and you play as her walking around your setto and trying to post a letter. The prologue is the first glimpse into the atmosphere and the mood, and of course the story of the full game. So uh, if you want to have a look, go and download it right now. They are so creepy. Uuu, to jest jakiś prolog z Grace. Uuu. Our combat is intense and tough, and you will need to use every bullet you can find. And if you run out of bullets, I'm out of bullets. You might need to get in close and hit them with a melee weapon. Or if you're lucky, you can find something to throw. As mentioned before, your job is to find out what happened to Jeremy Hartwood. And to do that, you will need to visit some unexpected places. And to get to those places, you will need to find clues and solve some interesting puzzles. Hmm. Depending how much you feel like a detective yourself, you can choose how much you want the game to help you find clues and where to go next. So the biggest uh, creative focus for me has uh, for a long time been to reach something beyond the mundane, something spiritual. Mike, the director, and I, we spend a lot of time trying to figure out what 
direction, musical direction we wanted to take with this project. And when we finally decided to go for this kind of dark or doom jazz direction, our minds went directly to Jason, who is a master in this genre. It's a very visual uh, genre of music. The fact that it's inspired from noir films or noir detectives is already a good explanation of why this music fits very well for um, Alone in the Dark. There's a, a huge mountain and, and volcano of, of reverb with drums and screaming saxophone. this explosion of, of yeah, hair-rising uh, horror and, and uh, big chaos. <laughs> as the players drawn deeper into the game world, they will face off with the sinister presence known as the Dark Man. The Dark Man isn't real, Jeremy. There is nothing he can do to hurt you. How do you think any of this is happening? How do you still not trust my words? Fine. Then let me help. Don't be foolish. He will bury you next to me in his sunken temple for an eternity. Real or not, something is definitely corrupting the mind of Jeremy Hartwood. Something very, very dangerous. And very, very dark. Nice. Pinky, pinky. Czekamy, czekamy, aż wyjdzie. Będzie kolejna giereczka do grania. Replikator, ok. Replicate. Thank you, Spoko. Rozwałka. Black Desert Online. Vossa Combat. Ok. Jakieś nowa postać. O kurde. Ile wybuchów. że ona taka na, na, na duże grupki idealna Ultimate. Dead. No, he dead. Po prostu. Znowu Black Desert. Vosa and the Magao Awakening. Young. The more you try. 
who erase your bloodlines, the clearer they become. And the more you try to forget them, the greater your longing grows. Un, though you walk down different paths, your fate, preordained by the heavens, will lead you both to one enlightenment. Are you ready to face each other? Ta fajnie wygląda. Destiny 2, Season of the Deep. Szczęki. Kill them all. Yes. Epic of Tia. Join you in Mission Zero. For now, let's take a trip back in time to the creation of the world where everything about Tia. Ends. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Not so fast. I don't think I'm ready for such a leap. <laughs> I fear you there, but no one can resist the temptation of creating a world, especially if it's a world of your own. Our next game is Epic of Tia, an open, powerful, and super easy to use MMORPG creation platform. MMORPG creation platform? Is that like game development? I bet it takes a lot of work and money to develop. That's right. I just had an exciting discussion with the Epic of Tia's producer backstage, and he had grand plans to make game developing accessible to everyone. Wow, that sounds amazing. How about we invite him on stage and see what he has to say? Let's welcome the producer of Epic of Tia, Jax. Hello, I am Taya 分享。那我这个呢嘛。在这里，任何人都可以离门槛的创造属于自己的游戏世界。这个世界，一切都是可。那这太过的snet is 帮你带来海量的用户运维也是有官方统一维护的就可以让你的世界栩栩如生 
同时我们也会开启二测的报名，搜索网易创世计划，立即预约，共创属于你的游戏世界。Nie dobra, no to teraz mamy Lord of the Rings, Rise, The World i też z NetEase. <laughs> I love the Lord of the Rings. So, Shane, are you ready to become a tactician in the Lord of the Rings Rise to War? You know what? I think I am. Welcome to Middle Earth. <laughs> My precious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the races of free people are united again with forces in the air. and armies across the land. They are gathering to protect a hard-won peace. Because evil never rests. Because war never ends. Because the One Ring lures all with its power. Because it's one it wants to rule over everything. Haha. <laughs> you shall not pass. Final count, 42. A new order will rise. There is still one dwarf in Moria that still draws breath. No world of man will fall. Lords of the Ring. In the Lord of the Rings Rise to War, you have the choice to either serve Sauron or join the free peoples of Middle Earth. Of Middle Earth. Dobra, już tak gadają i gadają, więc można zakończyć. I ludziska na ten odcinek to tyle by było z mojej strony. Także dzięki wielkie za oglądanie i widzimy się już tylko w kolejnych odcinkach. Trzymajcie się. Hej.